before before you the boxer keyboards of Raft intervene here. I am not a boxer, I'm not a professional boxer. So what you're seeing here is a standardized, good, simple session that you can pick up. So avoid the fall is bad, hips are off. Please don't. Just we're learning. We're all here. Feel enough. Put the keyboards of Raft down. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on? Are we rocking? Are we rolling? Are we rocking? Are we rolling? Under the hook and then 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 Mitt work, so this is something you can take, all you need is yourself and a buddy, you don't even need gloves. All you need is just to protect your knuckles and have a pair of these things, which you can buy super cheap. These are very small versions, you get bigger versions. I would advise getting the slightly bigger versions if you're starting out. And they, honestly, you can pick them up for like 15 quid from uh, online stores. What we're gonna be covering here is how to hold the mitts for starters, because so many people, you see them doing it, and the guy who's throwing is overworking or risking a level of injury because the mitts are simply not being held right. There's not enough force being thrown back against the punches, which can cause hyperextension of the elbows, which is a really nasty thing to happen. I once threw a punch and the guy didn't hold anything behind it. My whole body went through. I blew my back and winded myself. It was horrific. It literally put me out of the entire session. So this is a really simple but important thing that we're gonna go through. We're gonna how to hold the mitts. Then we're gonna build up a nice basic combination and a skill set for you guys to be able to drill between yourselves and you can just build upon these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna interject with these, I don't know, every, every couple of sessions and we'll give you something new to take and go with. So I'll now pass you over to the ever so clever and beautiful Yusuf. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the first rule is before we start any combinations, anything with your opponent, is first how to hold the pads. I don't want you to relax the hands. I want you to kind of clench the glove, clench the pad, so it's nice and tight against your arm. After that, then we may proceed. Okay, once you're here, distance-wise, I don't want to be out too wide, because this isn't realistic. I don't want to be too close either, because then I can't see what he's doing. I want to be right in the middle, right over here. So boom, that's it. And another thing I want to be doing is, I don't want to be flimsy, so if you punch me like legs, I want to make it so it has a nice pop to it. So like again, one, two legs, pop, pop, that's the one, good. And another thing as well is about my elbows. My elbows don't want to be here, good. My elbows want to be tucked in. And also, if he throws a really strong right hand, throw around his right hand, and my elbows are here, throw right hand, potentially it's going to hurt my shoulder, and we don't want that, do we? It's from a pad session. Nice distance so I can see my opponent and what he's throwing not too close either so if he's too close and he throws potentially gonna hit me in the face and make me even more uglier okay <laughs> so again I want to keep that distance so it's about there you go that's some elbows tucked in one two good okay another thing as well is I don't want to just stand where I am because this isn't realistic okay Lex throw one two and I'm just standing there okay realistic I'm gonna moving round and I want Lex to be moving around with me so one two Pop, pop, nice, okay, again, one, two, pop, pop, nice. And obviously, once we're more comfortable with that, I want to get to other combinations, like the one, two, and the hook. So, one, two, hook legs, bang, 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 nice, okay. Another thing with the hook is, like I said, with, with the elbow, it throws slowly, little legs, is when, when he throws the hook, it's the same principle again. I'm kind, of I'm kind of coming into him a little bit. I don't want it being flimsy. Okay, so once again, Lex, one, two, three. So one, two, three, that's it. Again, one more time. Bump, 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 that's it. And you know you're doing it right because you're gonna talk to your opponent and say, you know, is it feeling nice and uh, pop? You're getting that nice pop feeling. Because nice and tight, one, two, three, legs, pop, 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 and that's it. And Lex will tell you, Lex, is that nice and fat? Do you yep. feel poppy? That's fine, poppy, that's a new word for me. <laughs> <laughs> poppy. Again, three. Pop, pop, pop. Nice, okay, now we're going to move around, make it more realistic. Now Lex is going to do more head movement, move around. And I think, uh, another thing I forgot to mention as well is I don't want to be going Lex, one, two, three, and holding it out there and going, okay, Lex, one, two. I want to be more surprising. I don't want to be like study going, right, Lex, one, two, uh, one, two, three, Lex. The worst thing you can get in the habit of doing is building up a combination. You'll see, I've talked about it before in previous videos. If you watch, I used to do this with my hands before throwing a punch because in my head I'm building it up. 
you want to really get into the habit of when someone pops that pad up you just throw bam and because they're calling out the numbers and you know you're not in the control of the combination you're being forced to throw them more yeah more surprise more, more surprise is a weird word we're i know gonna go with it yeah. we're gonna go with it i like it surprise punches <laughs> I was going to say something else that surprised me, but we won't say it because I'll probably get told off by younger viewers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two legs. Pop, pop. Okay, moving round. Opposite side. I'm going to be pressuring forward. That's it. And then he's going to pressure me. I'm going to warm my back foot. There you go. Another thing I want to work on is distance. Because distance is a, is a key factor. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pressure Lex by saying one, two legs. And Lex is going to step back and then throw the one, two. Okay, and this really works well with range finding, okay? Because realistically, when you're in a fight, a guy's not going to stay the same distance all the time. He's, he's going to be moving around, he's going to be cutting corners, he's going to be pivoting, he's going to be moving head, he's going to be moving his head all the time. So this is a really good way of kind of copying that on the mitts, okay? So let's go, Lex, one, two, pop, pop. Okay, I'm going to fall, fall forward. Now we're going to go back, go back, go back. Now, Lex, drop that hand. Good. Now, on the right hand, see how he kind of stepped, stepped in twice and went on the right hand? He didn't overcommit. Because when you overcommit, Lex, just do, do overcommit. There you go, slowly. When you overcommit, a couple of things are happening. Look how un imbal unbalanced he is. He can, he's going to fall any minute. So he's made, that's why he took the two step. He went one, two, and then he threw the right hand, okay? A lot of people, put uh, the coaches especially these days, teach them how to punch first. Now, back in the olden days, a lot of people taught feet first. And that's great because if your feet are planted, that means you're strong, your punches are going to be much stronger. You know, you're going to be balanced. And that's important. If you can't throw punches when you're not balanced, then they're no use. Okay? Now, these guys, you see now, they can throw a really good punch, but you put the camera down to the feet, they're absolutely messy. They're on the balls of the feet. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely ridiculous. So that's one thing I always teach first is feet first, and then we work our way up. Let's go. So we're going to work with a one, two, three. So bump, bump, three. Good. And then we're going to roll from that, okay? This way. So as you thought, so, one, two, pop, three. Pop. And you're going to come this way. That's it. And then what you're going to do, you're going to, on your foot, and then throw the right hand. This is what we're going to work on for the weeks to come. Footwork and rotation, because it's absolutely unnatural for me to, to do all this moving around, because I'm not used to it. So what a lot of people will do is they'll try and stuff the step. And we don't want that. We want that in, and then you're back. Okay, so one, two, three. Bop, 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 and then come in there, and then you're going to pivot right hand. Bye! Nice. Yeah. I, think I, would say yeah. I always try to rush things. Because in my head I know I can throw a punch, I can do these things, so I just try and go through them. Slow it down a little bit, take your time, don't feel like you're trying to show off to whoever's holding the mitts. Just go through it, slowly speed up. And get it in your head, that's how you develop these motor pathways. Just repetition, repetition, repetition. Did you feel more balanced on your foot then? Yeah, I feel on, on, on the hook? Like I'm, unbalanced like on the hook? Here. I'm a bit, yeah, over it. Okay, so, so, so like I said, just, hold, just pretend like you're holding the mitts up for me. Yeah. So when you're doing the one, two, oh. when you're doing the one, two, three, one, oh. two, three, I'm rolling, as I roll under, this is what pivots. Okay. Yeah, and as I pivot, then what I do is when I throw the right hand, I'm putting all my weight on this leg. Okay. And I throw the right hand. From yeah. there, as I all my weight around, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload and come back. Try that. So one, two, three, I'm gonna come round. Right hand load, with that foot, keep it pointed that way towards me, towards the opponent. Yeah. When you throw in the hook, when you throw in, once you throw the right hand, all your weight is on this side. Yeah, yeah. And then from that side, you're going to reload back, so you come in back. Ah, okay, really. Like this. Really yeah? Okay, yeah. I'll just practice the, the right hand hook right now. Okay, so, so the right hand that. and the hook. There you go, that's it. Yeah. Elbows higher, elbows higher. Okay, you're going more. Come on, so bang, bang, good. So when you're doing the right hand, you're going bang. Bang. Yeah. Make sure you pay attention to the previous video where we talked about how you change the hand position for the hook. Close hooks, you're turning the knuckles out. Midway hooks, you're looking like you would throw a, a jab almost. Here, and the distance hooks, you're looking to really turn the arm over and land down with the knuckles. And really concentrate on that, like I said, the far hook, really concentrate on hitting the, the opponent with these two knuckles. So you're coming around. Oh, actually, one thing to cover, yeah. Go, Dropping go. hands. What you can do is if I if I throw and drop my hand, watch what he'll do. It's good. It doesn't hurt, and it really gets in your head to stick those things to your head like glue. And you can do this over exaggeratingly. Don't really pin them to yourself. Like just to over 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 overcompensate for errors, and eventually you'll build that motor pathway of just being able to hold them up. We're also going to cover in later sessions how to build up 
the ability to keep your hands up because you might not think about it but this actually gets very difficult as time goes on and you naturally drop because you're tired rather than the fact that you're forgetting. So now we're going to finish with a nice combination after we learn all that I, was, I think I've pretty much covered all the Key, yeah, all the, all the key factors. Okay, let's go again. So one, two, three. So bam, bam, bam. And I'm warm up. And bam, good. And I'm also working off the counter. So realistically, if someone throws punches at me, my initial reaction is to throw one back. And that's what he, that's what Lex is doing now. He's working against the counter. So as I throw in the, as I throw, as he throws the hook, I'm gonna come with the hook myself. He's gonna pivot and he's gonna give me a boom. At lights out. See you later, alligator. Okay. <laughs> Good night, Cub Scout. <laughs> Let's, oh, go. No, shout out to <laughs> Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. So, we're so tough, we're so hard. <laughs> Good. One more time. <laughs> Good. Now, this time I'm going to turn with you. As I turn with you, you're going to do a right hand and a hook. Nice and slow. So. I'm coming around with my own thing. Good. Bang, 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 rich. Bang, bang. That's it again, one more time. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba. Ba, ba. Just take the power off just a little bit, yeah? Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Good, come under. Bang, bang. Ba, ba, ba. Rich. Ba, ba. Nice. Bang, 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 rich. Bang, bang. Good. Ba, ba, ba. Rich. Ba, ba. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah? yeah? Nice. Cool, so there you go. A nice little, uh, simple, but good looking and uh, footwork improving drill that you can just have a go at obviously as well work around <laughs> you sniff yourself no this oh <laughs> that do you know is it wrong that i like the smell of like you use good leather and gloves it's very wrong when we walked in today what did i say mm. i love that smell yeah weird anyway <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget don't just drill 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 the same thing over in between each time throw in jab 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 straight right left hook make them you know throw independent punches as well build up kind of minute long minute and a half rounds 30 seconds rest or three minute rounds of four minutes rest thank you very much again no worries brother i shall see you always again very soon. You down. thank you all for tuning in this has been dedicated lex yusuf underhooks underhook <laughs> <laughs>